Okay, so let me see if I have some useless things open. What's this? Okay, perfect. Um, let's get started. Let me see if it's recording. It's recording. So it's a, a refresher, May 11th, 2019. Uh, we're basically going to go over, like, you know, like, like how do you, how do you identify this phenomena called breakout, right? It's, it's basically how the candles move through areas, right? And that movement is basically called a breakout, right? And then, there's certain things happen, you know, when candles reach in, reach an area where candles have previously rejected from like important ice levels. So those are rejection areas too, right? So we're going to go over all of that here. Um, can you please post in text chat? Uh, let me see. It's posted in text chat. That's why you are here because it's posted in text chat. Is it? Yes. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so, that's number one. What's a breakout, right? A breakout happens when, when, like, you know, when you look left, when you look left, let's say you have a resistance area here, and you have a support area down over here, right? And then the candles are moving up, down, up, down, up, down, you know, and then all of a sudden you have a candle that moves up, right? Now, when you look left, you'll see that the candles were rejecting this area, and now you have this candle moving up, right? So now, this candle is doing something that these previous candles could not do, right? So now you're thinking that, okay, you know what? This could be a breakout. So what happens is now, there are probabilities, right? The probabilities are that there's a higher probability that if you're, if this is a 30 minute time frame, or let's say if this is a one hour time frame, right? The probability of this move to continue up is higher than the probability of it moving down, right? So for the sake of simplicity, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna include fake outs here because that just confuses a lot of people. So we're, we're only gonna focus on the trend, right? So in this case, the trend is up. So what happened was price came up, it reached into a consolidation area because it found resistance and then it found support, right? Reached a consolidation, broke out. So now when you're trading the trend, you're looking for these moves, right? You're looking for candles to do things that the previous candles could not do, right? So when you're looking at the charts, you're only looking at candles and that's all what we see. So it's very, very important for you to know what candles are doing, how to study candles, how to tell, you know, in a way like how to tell a story of candles, right? So that's what a breakout is like it's a continuation of trend, right? But before it happens, always remember, I repeat it again, there's going to be an area of consolidation, which what they call is that price is going to create a box. So this is your box, and then, then you have a candle that breaks out, and then what you expect the next candles to do, what do you expect? Will it continue? Now, that two things are going to happen. Either the candles are going to continue moving up, or what they're going to do is that they will try to form some sort of a support. And that support, like you'll have to wait for that support because after you have a break, the next candles will continue down and they will create a support. What most people do is, it happens all the time. It used to happen for me too, like once you have a break, right? Well, uh, now, now you don't want to miss out a move, so you take a buy right over here. What happens when you take a buy right about here? The candle starts to move down, and you're like, "Oh shit, I become the way," you know. So that's that's where you get the perfect entry for a sell, but in the opposite way, right? So you took a buy, anticipating a move up, but then you have a move down. So what happens when you took a buy up over here? When you have a buy up here, you always got to think, right? The step number one is to think that okay, if you're going to take a trade, where will your stop loss be? Makes sense. So if you're taking a buy here, where do you think your stop loss is going to be? It can't be down over here because the important zone that broke was down over here. So we're going to go over a lot of examples here later on, but uh, this is just for the sake of explanation. But a good trader will say, okay, you know what? I took a bad entry up over here, so maybe a stop loss down here would make sense. So now think about it. You have a wide stop loss, man. Like you have a really big stop, which is just below the breakout handles. 